If there is one technology that really changed the game and changed the game by that much, and uh, if you would try to fly an old ESC or the ESC with disabled of this functionality, then yes, you will notice the difference. This is not the D-shot, not bidirectional D-shot, multi-shot, one-shot, nothing like that. The technology that really changed everything in terms of how well the ESCs are able to handling propellers are able to fly our drones is the dumped light or just braking on the latest versions of the ESCs. Before the active braking, when the ESC got the command to slow down, uh, it was not able to actively break the motor. If this was, if if the motor was uh, spinning of the too high of the of the RPMs comparing to the current command, ESC had no way to slow this motor down. That meant that it just the drag on the propeller had to overcome the inertia and like the, it was slowly winding down. That meant that the fast response of the drone was just and tighter control uh, loop was just not impossible because yes, you could relatively quickly accelerate the propeller, but you could not decelerate the propeller. Once the dumped light really like appeared, everything changed. Because for the first time, propeller was not able only to accelerate quickly, but also to decelerate quickly. And this single change allowed us to have much higher P gains, much higher D gains, much higher uh, filter frequencies, because we, we got much more the control, immediate control, on how much trust each of the propeller is generating. I will not deny that going from standard PWM of the 490 Hertz into the one shot was also a big change uh, in terms of the performance that is really like related to the ESC. It changed a lot. Make yourself a test one day. Uh, try to standard protocol or versus the one shot protocol, which is like 490 Hertz comparing to, I think, two. 2 kilohertz. So so th there's different. I made an experiment like that uh, a few years ago. You can feel the difference. It's noticeable. But it's not that big of the difference as the active braking. But once after we go from uh, one shot, uh, 125 into multi-shot, then into D-shot, there is no practical difference of the actual performance of how fast the ESC can drive, uh, how efficiently and uh, quickly ESC can drive the motor. It's it's, it's not there. And if you, if you think about this, the D-shot is slower than multi-shot. So it's a completely different story. Yes, the D-shot uh, gave us a few additional benefits of the whole uh, whole procedure, but it's not really directly related, related to the fire, faster data rate because it's not just not faster. But that's a, that's a completely different story. The biggest change in the ESCs is the active braking. And the second biggest change are just faster ESC protocols. But still, the active braking much more important.